I, when I was, when I, as soon as I won, you know, the first, my first thought was, you know, God, he, it was his, des, it, it was destined for me because, you know, he pretty much picked me as the winner because, you, you know, he, he's in, in control here. Well, for the most part, uh, it was a extreme kind of like shock to me, kind of like a dream come true. Uh, when I first heard uh, Flex's name, initial instinct, kind of like uh, lost my feet. My feet went uh, straight from under me. So the first thing I thought was uh, about was, you know, all the hard work and all the times I've been up there on that treadmill and and put in that whole hour before work and after work and and you know having to go to work and times in the gym and uh, the, all the time that I kneeled and prayed and you know it was just a whole bunch of emotions going through my mind all at one time yeah pretty much uh, like, like I said it's been about 10 days now uh, it's probably gonna be a while because I hadn't really had a chance to experience being Mr. Olympia but for the most part you know it's good to to say to myself and it's good to write hey I'm the new Mr. Olympia I'm the best in the world and I've won the title so uh, well as far as the uh, $110,000 check goes you know $110,000 can be spent in like two or three minutes, so that's really not a whole lot of money. Uh, this house is probably uh, what I'll probably end up spending that on, which is a little bit more than a hundred thousand dollars anyway. So uh, I still got other bills to pay besides the house, you know. So I still, as far as I'm concerned, I still got to work. Uh, so I don't, right now, uh, my plans are, my initial plans are to continue doing the things I've always done, you know. And when I won the Olympia, I had a job and I worked, you know, pretty, pretty much every day and, and I don't see how <clears throat> that could probably interfere with, uh, uh, my training again. Right now, nothing is changing, but who's to say? down the road, you know, if things pick up and, you know, I got my demand for, for like seminars and guest posts and is something that I'm not able to, to do uh, as far as the time with the police department go, then I may have to either take a leave of absence or uh, do uh, reserve work. So, but right now, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and stick, I'm gonna stay with what I got. Well, as far as, let's go on stage, uh, as far as the uh, contest goes, you know, I was the best man that day. My conditioning was far better than pretty much everybody else's. And uh, my hands and my glutes, my back was kind of like superior, but it's kind of hard for me to uh, go out and say that because I didn't really see myself on stage and I didn't really to be honest with you I didn't see anybody else on stage I was just pretty much displaying what I had as far as my preparation go and, and as far as me uh being the winner on that day you know I didn't do it all by myself you know a lot of people say that bodybuilding is probably an individual sport because when you're up there on stage you pretty much uh, you, you, you don't have a, a lot of other people around you uh, like it's like maybe football or basketball, which, you know. But as far as bodybuilding goes, I I also think it's a team sport too because, you know, you don't achieve all what you achieve by yourself. Uh, as far as my nutritional uh, guys went, you know, Chad Nichols pretty much uh, did all of that, so he was part of my t the team there. And uh, as far as uh, you know, as far as cooking my food and 
<coughs> making sure, you know, everything was taken care of at the house. And Vicky helped out a whole lot along those lines. So it's pretty much, you know, as far as I'm concerned, a team sport there too, you know. And plus, you know, uh, you know in the gym, you know, I had Vicky pushing me there. And uh, all in all, uh, the whole teamwork uh, co concept worked out. So, cause, you know, I didn't really do it all by myself. I had people around me helping me out and, and telling me what to do and pushing me and stuff like that. As far as prejudging go, I was 246, uh, Knight of Champion, uh, Olympia, 247, night nice show out probably around uh, 252, 253. As far as I'm concerned, that's the weight that I look best at, so I'll probably be somewhere around in the neighborhood of that probably next year. Uh, as far as my plans as competition go, uh, before I went won the Olympia this year, I had I won the Night of Champions, so I had to peak twice uh, this year, which I think is kind of hard to do, but I was able to do it. Next year is going to be a whole lot different because I'm only going to do one show, and that's going to be the Mr. Olympia, so I only have to peak once. So I think I'll be, I know I'll be better uh, next year than I was uh, this year because, you know, I have more time to rest and more time to work out, more time to just peak for one show. As far as conditioning goes, as far as being an overall better bodybuilder, I know I'll look better for, for uh, next year than I did uh, this year because I'll only have that one show. Yeah. 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 Uh. <laughs> Uh, that's all, folks.